Yo guys, so in the last video, we created basically a bot that would log into your account on Instagram, follow a user, and then unfollow them, um, was it, six, six minutes later. What we're gonna do this time is introduce some new libraries, and then we're gonna make it so that you can run through an array of users and uh, follow all of them, and then just loop through and then unfollow them a certain amount of time later. Um, yeah, yeah, that's basically it. <clears throat> so we're just gonna take this to the next step, but mostly we're introducing the new the new libraries. All right, guys. So the first thing we're gonna introduce here is called Pry, and it's just require Pry like that. And Pry is a um, it's a Ruby REPL, so it lets you um, basically it's which stands for read, enter, print, loop, and it basically lets you interact with the actual code um, on a on like an actual command line interface. So you can actually see what's in your variables, you can see what's going on a little bit easier. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, what else, for this, depending on which version you have, you will need, I'm just gonna copy and paste these over, it makes it easier. <clears throat> Save some time, I'm trying to get these, keep these under 15 minutes. So, require rb-readline, and that's a Ruby IRB. And then you wanna require this is very optional, but require awesome print. Awesome print is a, is a library that is basically for syntax highlighting. Um, it, it basically makes it so you can highlight um, words like or strings in the console. So it makes it a little bit easier to read stuff, and that's basically all we're using that for. So as you come down again, you're going to have your own username here, your own password. We're going to come down to line 9. You can take away this Justin Bieber you can change that to users and we're gonna make it an array and we're gonna use these four Instagram users Josephine Scriver the weekend uh, with no e no last e Kendall Jenner and Carly Kloss these are just people I met at the Victoria's Secret fashion show last year and Carly Kloss she's huge in the tech industry she's awesome Josephine Scriver is really nice the weekend performed there um, and Kendall Jenner, obviously she's a Kardashian or Jenner or whatever, and she was uh, walking the runway. That's really not important to anything that we're doing. That's just why I picked them. I had to pick four people off the top of my head. Okay, so we're still going to open the browser. We're still going to do it in Chrome. I'll show you at the end how to open an incognito window if you need to. And we're still going to log in. All this is staying the same. You're going to um, put, um, put string logging in. Actually, what we're going to do here is anywhere that you see puts, we're gonna change it to AP, which is the awesome print um, syntax for, pr for basically for print line. And um, everything's gonna stay the same, browser, text field, username, yep. So line 17 and 18 stay the same. Lines 20, log in, we're gonna log in the same, we're still gonna sleep for two seconds. And instead of this is so this is where things are going to change a little bit first thing that we're going to want to do is make this an if else loop um, we can get rid of the sleep because it'll only do one or the other it won't do one right after the other and we can do let's just make it an else if so it's e l s i f so it's only going to do one or the other so yeah Yep, so we have an L, uh, if else if statement. <clears throat> now where it says go to user, this is where we're gonna start making some changes. We're gonna change that, we're gonna put this all within a loop, and it's gonna be, it's gonna loop through our users array, so we're gonna say users dot each, and we're gonna do, oh, oops, wrong key value, can get rid of that. We'll indent all this over, and we'll close the bracket. So basically what this is saying is, um, go through each in users, and we're gonna and values, and we're gonna assign it value so that we can use it within, within the loop. So that means we're gonna go through and change everywhere that you see user to, to val. Because it's gonna, for, the, for that loop, I'm, I'm so bad today. This is, the, I'm, this is my first coding session all day. It's like 6 p.m. Um, 
Yeah, so anywhere that you see Val, uh, or anywhere that you see users or user, you're going to exchange it with Val. And um, yeah, so right now the what we're doing is we're looping through each one. We're going, we're we're taking the browser. We're going to that user, and then we're gonna if we're not already following them, then we'll follow them. Um, yep. If we're not following them, we'll follow. If we aren't follow, if we are already following them, then we will unfollow. Okay, so. Now what we want to do is make it so that this program can run itself and will keep running until we decide to shut it off. With that said, I'm literally just going to put this in a while true loop. I'm going to indent it all. Oh, too much. I'm going to say end. And then what we want to do is, we, so basically it's going to keep looping through this. So the only way for this program to stop is if we stop it right now uh, by hitting control C in our uh, terminal. So what we want to do is, because it's going to go through each of these right here, it's going to, it's going to hit this loop, it's going to go through each and, and do what we want to do. Then we want to wait a certain amount of time right here, we're going to sleep it, say I'm just going to put 30 seconds in there for right now, we're going to change that probably. We're going to sleep it for 30 seconds and then we're going to loop through it again. And that's only to show you guys, do not actually do this on a regular loop for 30 seconds only because you'll keep following and unfollowing them. And I'm pretty sure there's a threshold for how much following you can do per day. I would do it every half an hour. So every half an hour it checks if you're following them and it either follows them or unfollows them. Um, but we'll do 30 seconds for now. What we want to do here with this sleep. So using the pry gem, which is the repo I was telling you about, we're going to actually say pry uh, start and we're going to bind it. Uh, binding. This way, it'll stop the program there if it gets to it. In this case, um, in this case, it won't because we have the loop going. But if, but if we, but I'll show you guys in a second what it actually does. Um, I'm also going to put here. I'm gonna just copy and paste it over for my notes. <clears throat> so I'm using the put string, not the not the awesome print. Um, not the awesome prime, I'm just using put string again, P-U-T-S, and I'm putting the time dot now, just so we can see the difference. Um, and this way, because if the program was running and we came back to it, we'd want to see what, what was going on and where we stood. And I believe that's everything. So let's go ahead and try to run this real quick. See where we're at. Okay, opening up, logging in. redirecting oh no I made the <laughs> the most ridiculous mistake and didn't save my code that happens sometimes let's try that again I'm gonna stop this here I'm gonna clear it since that's not what we're doing all right let's run this and see what happens all right so we log in We directed Joseph, Josephine Scriver, then the weekend, we're following, unfollowing. And you can see all that down here. Oh, uh, okay, I see what I did. Anyways, you can see down here, I'm gonna change these put strings right here within the within the um, user.each loop to uh, awesome prints print method, which is AP. So it stands out a little bit better. But you can see it unfollowed Josephine Scriber because I was already following her. It followed The Weeknd. It followed Kendall Jenner. And it unfollowed Carly Klaus because I was also following her. You see the time, 18, 15, 29. So it should be 18, 15, so 18, 16. So it waited. Oh, by the time it finished. So it was about a minute all in all. Okay. That's not important. But anyways. Yeah, so it's, it's going to keep doing this. I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to close that out. So you see how it's all blue, and we use the awesome print. You can see the logging in, how it comes up as like yellow. It's gonna be different per computer. Um, you can look at the documentation how to change that. But but I'm gonna run it again just so you can see. And I'm also gonna add the incognito method I was telling you about. So basically, when you want to make your um, <clears throat> browser incognito, you come up here to line 12. Right after where it says Chrome, you're gonna add a comma, and then say switches incognito. And it's dash dash incognito. You can see it here. And, and that's basically a Selenium um, method. So it's not actually a, uh, a water method. It's Selenium. But it reads it just the same. So 
Let's try running this again. It should open an incognito window and the console should be a little bit clearer. Yeah, let me save it again this time. Let's run it back. And I'm gonna clear it real quick. So logging in. And as you can see, it's black. It's an incognito window here on Chrome. Unfollowing Josephine Scriver, following The weekend. following Kendall Jenner, unfollowing Carly Kloss. Shows us the time here. We're gonna wait 30 seconds. It's gonna show us again. So Carly Kloss, yeah, she's big in the tech industry. She's a good friend of Casey Neistat's. Uh, she lives here in the city uh, with me. Not with me, but like, you know, in the city with me. And um, yeah, she's awesome. She's huge in the tech. She has like a whole, uh, she's like big into getting women into tech and programming in general. Um, but yeah, All right, let's see here. It should be about time, it should be moving. Cool, so it's going through it again and just follow Josephine Scriver, unfollow the weekend. So it did the exact opposite of what it did here. So unfollowed, this time it followed, and just went back and forth. And you can see so, <clears throat> It's interesting. So yeah, we're running every 30 seconds, but the, the program takes about 30 seconds to get through, which seems kind of long actually. But long story short, with this user's um, with this user's array, you can basically add any number of people to follow and unfollow. Um, again, I, this is good because when you follow big people, there are um, people that follow them just to see who's following them, who's new, who's and who's following them and unfollowing them. And then those bots or those people are then following them. So it's it's kind of like a cheap way to get followers. Um, <clears throat> also, again, just be careful. You can't do too much without um, without alerting uh, Instagram. So don't overdo it. I wouldn't do it more than every. Uh, I wouldn't do more than every thirty minutes. Um, yeah throughout the day and then it also depends on how many people you're doing so keep that in mind I wouldn't follow more than or unfo I wouldn't unfollow because that's what they use the bigger metric I wouldn't unfollow more than 200 people a day for any reason no matter what um, and that's just coming from somebody who knows pretty well where the thresholds stand um, because of my Instagram service that I have <clears throat> um, alright let's see what else do we need to do here okay so I'm actually going to comment out this loop here And I'm going to run it again so we can see pry. So let's go ahead and clear this. Let's run it again. And it should just literally open up login. And then you'll see pry open up here down in the terminal. All right. So you can see it just logged in and then went straight straight to pry. And having a REPL <clears throat> is pretty cool. So just to start out, I'm going to make this really quick. I can just hit LS. <clears throat> and you can see I can see all the... Um, all the different variables we have we have a few different commands we can do if I wanted to see the browser element I could type uh, browser and you see there if I wanted to actually list what's inside a browser I can see all the different attributes we have and there's actually more yeah uh, where does it end geez okay so <clears throat> yes yeah, so you can see all the like you can see all the different methods we have uh, waitable methods, wait until, wait until present. So, yes, yeah, so you can even tie in some. Uh, yeah, what? Again, I'm calling it waiter. It's water. <laughs> water is a great is a great gem. So I'm gonna actually hit Q and exit out of that, and I'm gonna hit LS again. Now let's say we wanted to see uh, username. You can actually see what's within that variable. So I can see what's within users. And it's just a it's a it's a really it's really good to have, and you can plug it in anywhere within your library. And um, well, within your within your script, and stop it there, and kind of like check and see what's going on. But that's basically it, guys. So that's it for this little like follow unfollow part of this tutorial. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to be looking at doing is um, an auto liker, so you can just auto like everyone that's within your feed. So if you're already following that person, it'll be a it'll just basically be a bot that goes through your entire feed every so often and likes everyone's uh, media, photo or video or whatever. Um, yeah, so that'll be the next video, probably be tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to do one each weekend day uh, for now, probably pick it up soon, as soon as I have more time, work's been a little busy. But yeah, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comments below. Um, I am responding to them, I'm trying to help out. There were a few from la uh, last the last video with um, installing Chrome Driver, and I have post I updated the, um, the description with a little bit of a solution, or two different possible solutions to that. 
And um, yeah, hopefully that works. If not, um, again, just shoot me a DM or a, it's better to put it down in the description so other people can see the response as well. Um, all right, guys, take it easy. I'm Steve Hawkey. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to developer. The Hawkmaster signing out.